Hi, and welcome to Storytime with Mrs. Kelly. Today we have a very old story we're gonna be reading. It's called The Two Sisters. It is a very old legend that was told to Pauline Johnson by Joe Capilano, the chief of the Squamish nation. Now, Ms. Johnson first wrote down this legend uh, in 1911. That is like 109 years ago. That's a very long time ago. Um, this, the illustrations were done more recently in 2016 by Sandra Butt, and they're gorgeous. They're... Okay, now first, before we, let's back this up. Before we um, read the legend, I want to show you the mountains that this story is actually talking about. These mountains are on the north uh, shore of Vancouver, which is in British Columbia. And these mountains are these ones, and these are the two peaks that the legend is talking about. They call them the two sisters, and this legend will tell us why they're called the two sisters. Um, let's get into it. They're also called the lions, but let's find out why they're called the two sisters. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, here we go. <laughs> Can y'all see it? Many thousands of years ago, there were no twin peaks guarding this sunset coast. They were placed there long after the first creation when the Sagali Tai molded the mountains and patterned the mighty rivers where the salmon run. Many thousands of years ago, a great Tai had two daughters. Girls with eyes of spring hearts of summer that grew to womanhood at the same springtime when the first great run of salmon thronged the rivers and the olali bushes were heavy with blossoms. Their father prepared to make a feast such as the coast had never seen. The only shadow on the joy of it all was war. Giant war canoes slipped along the entire coast. War parties paddled up and down. War songs broke the silences of the nights. But seven sons before the great feast, these two maidens came before him, clasped, hand clasped in hand. Oh, our father, they said, we have come to crave a favor of you. The favor is yours before you ask it, my daughters. Will you invite the enemy you wore upon to our feast? To a peaceful feast, he exclaimed. So we desire it, they answered. And so it shall be, he declared. Then he turned to all the young men. Build fires at sunset on all the coast headlands. Fires of welcome. Man your canoes and face north. Greet the enemy and tell them that I, the Taiyi of the Capilanos, ask that they join me for a great feast in honor of my two daughters. And when the enemy got this invitation, they flocked down the coast to this feast of a great peace. They brought their women and their children. There were long, glad days of joyousness, long, pleasurable nights of dancing. A great and lasting brotherhood was sealed between them. Their war songs were ended forever. The chief's daughters had two offspring, peace and brotherhood. Mm -hmm. Then the Sagali Tai smiled. I will make these young-eyed maidens immortal, he said. In the cup of his hands, he lifted the two sisters and set them forever on the mountain crest. They have stood in this high place for thousands of years and will stand there for thousands of years to come. Guarding the peace of the coast and the quiet of the canyon. Beautiful. Let's see. Wrapped in the suns, the snows, the stars of all seasons. <laughs> the end. And now it is time for the super reader of the day. Today's super reader is Jane. Yay! Congratulations, Jane. I hear that you love reading chapter books and you're really good at it. Good job. 
All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next week.